I have been working on getting wallpaper off where it's going to come off. And in some places, it really doesn't want to come off. And in other places, it just peels right off. So I figured I better get as much of it off as is going to peel off before I start painting, because I certainly don't want it to peel off after I've painted it. And as far as getting all of it off, I really don't know that that's a possibility. Some In some places, it is... It is like it is part of the wall. All right, keep working on it. <laughs> I have taken up Jax's table that he likes to lay on with all my stuff, which was all back in here. Since I'm getting this ready to paint, of course it has to stay over here until I finish because otherwise there's no point. And what I decided to do is keep the, well this wallpaper, some of it just isn't going to come off and so I've been sanding the edges here just to get it as smooth as possible. There's a barely any notice between this and this. I mean this is so thin that can barely notice it. Just want to try to get the edges as smooth as possible so that hopefully this doesn't show up through the paint is really what I'm hoping for. And Jack's looking out the window. I think he likes having all these windows in here. I don't know that I do, but he does. Another thought that I, I think I might do actually uh, such a small space back there. Why not put some of these really pretty ceramic tiles? On here. I'll have to do the measurements to see how many I'll need, but I'm not I'm not thinking probably more than two, maybe three. So that's really not a big expense at all. It's like $11 for each 12 by 12 square. My kitty wants to be right in the middle of everything I do, including my work on getting this wallpaper off as much as possible. So the good news today, I have no grandkids no babysitting so my plans busy day today I'm gonna get this painted come hell or high water I'm gonna get this thing painted the prep work is the worst it's so hard to get the wallpaper off at all all right I've got it scraped and sanded what I did was I sanded all the edges where it, the wallpaper's not coming off. Got it cleaned up. Got my dishes put away. Next step is taping it off. Oh, I want to show you guys this. This is kind of cool. There's a, a blender I, that goes in there. Now, funny story about this is when I first got this RV and I was cleaning out the closet, the I found this blender and it was old and hi Jax and it looked like something that I would not ever actually use so I threw it away only to find out that it actually went to this little deal over here which now I've got this this little built-in blender thing and no top to put on it I'll have to do some research and see if they make replacements. Let me see if I can get this to focus on this here. Yeah. So it does show the model number. I might be able to get a replacement for it. That would be kind of cool. And then I've got my nemesis over here. This thing 
is has got to be one of the most pointless things I've ever seen in an RV. It's got a garbage can in there, which to me, um, that's just ridiculous. I'd rather have the counter space. So I might at some point see if I can get this piece to go and like make it a little smaller, shave some off and then glue it in there. Make it a flat. I'd rather have that for, you know, putting things on storage. All right, well, I've got my helper here. He likes to get his nose in every little thing I'm doing. Jax. He's being a little quiet today. All right, so on to taping. All taped up and ready to rock and roll. Here we go. Thank goodness. All right, <clears throat> well, it's covered and first coat. I'm going to let this dry a little bit and then I'll go over it again, try to make it look good. Problem with painting and me is that I'm a perfectionist and so it's really hard for me to be happy with a paint job. So I'm just relaxing, waiting for the paint to dry. And I've now realized the reason why I put this Reflectix on the back window. And I'm so glad I did. <clears throat> There's no way to, no way to uh, really convey this through a video, but this is warm. And this window faces south. If it wasn't for this Reflectix, the sun would be absolutely just beating in here right now, and it would probably be quite unbearable. But as it is, it's not too bad. I've got the little vent open. My kitty's just chilling with me. And yeah, we're just taking a little break from the painting and be getting back to it here in just a moment. Jax! Jax! He never meows when I want him to, I swear. All right, it's done. And at least this is round two of painting. I eventually will be painting the whole, like all of behind these cabinets. I'll take the cabinet doors off when I do that. And underneath and down here. I guess this will be the next big painting project. And I think this turned out all right. Uh, Painting's hard for me, again, because I'm a perfectionist, so it's it's like I see every single little brush stroke and just drives me nuts. So at some point I just have to say, okay, let it go. And I'm going to let it dry for a while before I take the tape off. And so, yeah. Oh, Jack said hi. All right. Finally got all the tape off. It was a little harder than anticipated, and it left a few spots that I have to touch up. But for the most part, I do have this done, and you'll see here. These are going to be my <clears throat> new curtains for the window. Down here is the old blind. <laughs> Jack's terrorized it through throughout the night, so. I wasn't planning on putting it back up anyway. <clears throat> it's actually going out to the garbage. <clears throat> well, it looks pretty good. And so that's pretty much it for now. Uh, have a great day, everybody. Jack, you going to say hi? He's too focused. And we just want to say thank you for watching our videos and for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, uh, please do hit the like button. And best of all, have a great day.